should. What's good? Not freaking World War Three with Iran and Israel. I don't know what's going on, but I just checked my news feed and something's going on. It's a psyop. It's a scam. It's just globalist governmental apparati. Plural for apparatus. Just doing their stupid globalist thing. That's not the topic of the video, but it's connected because they're the ones who are keeping the population down. But we're freaking resisting. Some of us are. Some of us are just drinking the Kool Aid and the poison happily. Weirdos. Anyway. The whole point of this video, doing some spark delivering, it's like Walmart's delivery app, and it's been good to me, even though fuck Walmart, but, but I gotta be honest, the app's been good to me lately, and I was picking up an order, and one of the employees, they're used to like loading the merchandise, but with my setup, I just like, I'm like, you hand it to me and I'll load it, because I live in my van. She didn't realize that, and so she went to, like, go load something in, because I had the door open, and she was like, oh my, I'm so sorry. I feel like I accidentally just stepped into your apartment. And I was like, oh no, it's all good, it's all good. Um, and she had commented, asking, like, how I liked it, and she said she wanted to do it, and I said, you should do it. You know, I've been hustling, working multiple jobs a lot of hours a week, just trying to pay down debt and I'm almost not broke I'm almost not broke it's a good feeling but like I don't want I, I, I still have debt don't get me wrong but I've made progress and I'm on track to continue making progress which by the way free band name because that's kind of a cool band name almost not broke <laughs> That is a good band name for like an indie punk rock or like a Fall Out Boy cover band. That would be so perfect. I love Fall Out Boy. Just whatever. It is what it is. So anyways, this individual had made that comment. I thought it was funny. I get it though because, oh, did I talk about, I did. I already made another video about Khalil. Cool name guy named after Khalil Gibran. He saw my van and he asked me questions about it. So I sent him this like super long text with a bunch of resources. But moral of the story, it's been nice. It's been really nice. But I know a lot of, a lot of Americans are not in my position where they're able to minimize to my extent so they can pay down debt. And so then we talk about war in all these different countries and all the crazy freaking taxes and the shutting down fossil fuels which just drives those prices up and then force it, it's the the I don't know how else to explain it to people because it's so basic and simple and fundamental to me but people are super brainwashed we're being oppressed and it's so frustrating because the left are supposed to be the people who stand against oppression, but they are just supporting it. Uh, uh, that's like why I get so worked up sometimes, because the left was supposed to be for the working class. But that no, fuck the working class. That's their view. My view is, fuck the statist class. Because they're the ones who are fucking us. Ugh. I can't even imagine, like, war with Iran and Russia. Like, like, what are we fucking doing as a country? We have veterans killing themselves in the 20s and 30s, um, like, a day. Like, I've heard two different statistics. I've heard about 22 and I've heard about 40. Regardless, a day, a day, a day. So today, today, while you've been going about your mundane, monotonous trip, trivial existence 22 people who decided they wanted to try to do something right 
for their community, took their lives. Like, just think about that for a minute. Someone within your community could be that person, likely has been that person if they weren't today. There's so much homelessness, there's so much obesity, there's so much illiteracy, literally, literally, not figuratively, literally. Some of the education statistics are appalling. Ooh, appalling, good word. <laughs> Speaking of words and literacy, uh, I know so many people are struggling. I'm not the only one. By sharing my struggles, hopefully other people will not feel so alone. And at the same time, hopefully they'll realize the true common enemy we all have. The state. The oligarchs. The aristocrats. Let's bring back that word. Instead of saying globalists, maybe I'll just say the aristocratic class. There's still a fucking king of England who, like, has no power but has power and influence and a, a tremendous amount of wealth that, like, the English people funnel to him. It, 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 all of this society and culture and governmental structures we live in, it's a facade and it's a game. I'm rambling at this point. Whatever. Somebody please go make a band. And name it almost not broke. I'll help you write songs. I don't do instruments, but I do words. Much love.